mission, if you choose to accept, is to figure out how Superman takes out the last samurai. All while the lost Superman finally gets his chance, but it's animated. Plus, Jonah t gets all nostalgic and takes it back to my time, the 90s. Hey, how'd you get that picture? Check it out. This week's 4 Gallery PRP. What's going on, folks? Welcome to the box office part of the show. Each week, we recap last week's box office, and then I give you my projections for this week. So without further ado, let's kick it into last week. All right. As you can see, I stunk it up. I hit the trifecta. I missed every single one. So... We're not going to say how bad I was. Actual box office, you had the Equalizer 2 doing $36 million in first place. Nice job. Mamma Mia, here we go again. That came in with $34.9 million in second place. You had Hotel Transylvania 3 coming in at third place with $23.7. Ant-Man the Wasp still holding on with $16.5. And Incredibles takes over the fifth spot with $11.8. All right, so let's look at this week's box office projections. So this week we got a couple heavy hitters, and I felt like this week was going to be dominated by Mission Impossible Fallout. I think it's going to be a big weekend for him. A lot of buzz around this movie. I think it does 65 million. And coming in at number two, I think it's going to be Teen Titans Go, another kid movie in the middle of summer. Huge bunny. I'm thinking 35 million. Equalizer 2 coming in at third with 20 million. Mama Mia, here we go again with 18 million, and Hotel Transylvania 3 with 15 million. Like I said, there's two big movies coming out of the box office. You got Mission Impossible Fallout, directed by Christopher McQuarrie, starring Tom Cruise and Harry Cavill. And then you have Teen, Guy Teen Titans Go! to the movies. Directed by Aaron Hawthorne and Pete Ryder McKell, starring Kristen Bell and Nicolas Cage. So go check out the movies at the box office. Let's kick it over to the movie trailer part of our show. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out. Alita. Alita. Is it Alita? A L I T A. Alita. All right, we're going to go with Alita. That's it. I'm guessing. Alita. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> Welcome to the movie trailer portion of our section. <laughs> I'm Peepo, and that's Miss AG. <laughs> we're back with a brand new round of trailers. Yeah. And as you see, we were debating on how to say the name. Alita. <laughs> A-L-I-T-A. What is it? Alita. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Battle Angel. So let's check out that trailer. Atlet. Here. You gotta be willing to do what it takes. Alita, run! My God. She's the last of her kind. She contains technology that have been lost for 300 years. All right, so we got our answer. It's Alita, the it's Battle Angel. Said that in the beginning. <laughs> Out this December 21st, 2018, directed by Robert Rodriguez <laughs> and the mind of James Cameron, starring Rosa Salazar and Essa Gonzalez. So what did you think? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I, don't I know. was confused as heck at first. I first thought it was like a mocap, almost uh, Ready Player One-esque, where mm -hmm. we are like animation but then i found out it was actual people yeah with ai uh, i don't know that's confused like our robot yeah it was a little confusing i guess you some some badass like, kick butt when you see the trailer you're like i don't know yeah i'm a little confused i don't i don't really know what to get from that yeah that's a that's a thinker we're gonna have to see what that does i don't know about all that <laughs> all right well let's kick it on over to our next trailer here you go folks this is overlord what's up with the letter from the army now I'm here. I no idea where I'm going to end up. October 26, 2018, directed by Julius Avery, starring Wyatt Russell and Bokeem Woodbine. What do you think? I don't care. <laughs> I thought it looked pretty I, cool. I don't like actiony, too actiony movies. Yeah, we know that. But yeah. I love some war With movies. With the zombies, they're this, like. Well, this was like an actual cool representation of World War II, which we were representing, which was D-Day, which okay. is 1942, which is a big war, and this is a big thing. And it looks like they're going into the horror element, which, if you look in history. The Nazis were experimenting on people and weapons mm -hmm. and stuff, so this looks like maybe they discovered part of that thing, which looks really cool, and it's from the mind of JJ, so, you know, it's going to have some 
crazy freaky element to it. I, I think it looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love World War Two. Go check out Band of Brothers or uh, Saving Private Ryan. Probably the best two things to watch for World War Two. Really you shouldn't good. Shouldn't love it. You. It's a, it's a it's it's it's, it's, it's history. And yeah, it's, exactly. You shouldn't love it. But to though. watch the way that it all turned out and how things went poorly. I, I mean, just completely wrong so, for the Americans, and then how we preserved through all of it was pretty awesome. So you like how they show it. And yeah, movies. how it shows. That's, that's yeah, that's what I like. I like to see how it all maps out. I just want to give you the wrong thing about like, <laughs> Nazis. Yeah, yeah, No, heck no. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's get to our last show of the day, mid-90s. Today, man. Looks cool to me. I'm moving. Steamy. All right, folks, and there was mid '90s out this October 19, 2018, starring Jonah Hill. I'm sorry, directed and written by Mr. Jonah Hill, starring Catherine Watterson and Lucas Hedges. So, what do you think of the trailer? <laughs> I'm confused. You didn't catch the vibe. I mean, no. it's. De- I mean, as it, as like I said, as a teenager of the '90s, I fully get this whole thing. I was not a skater. That was not me. No, it was not. No, but I knew those kids, and that's exactly how they were. And you can see Jonah Hill's pulling from his uh, real life experience. I'm assuming growing up in the valley in the '90s, and he uh, he is representing it pretty well. Because I mean, that's exactly what I, I had a couple friends like that, and that's exactly how they hung out and how they were. So. It's interesting. That that brings back memories to me of a great 90s movie called Kids, which is a real representation of how kids were at that time, and that's really raw, just like this one. So, actually, I'm enjoying this one. <laughs> I like it. I thought it was really cool. This, like, really hit me. I mean, because I understand. I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. Well, there's our uh, movie trailer reactions for this week. <laughs> well, don't go yeah. nowhere. <laughs> I don't care. Don't go nowhere. We still got two previews. One of Mission Impossible Fallout with Action Guy, <laughs> Action Man, and then we have Teen Titans Go to the uh, Movies with Comic Book Guy. So check them out, folks. Until next time. Good night, Ted. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Action Man back here. Here to bring you another. Preview another great action star coming to the theaters this weekend. The legendary master of run and crazy stunts, Tom Cruise, is coming back as your favorite Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible Fallout. I cannot wait. The legendary Tom Cruise blesses us again with another one of his amazing action flicks. Man, this man can single-handedly take out any army by himself just by jumping and running. It's amazing. And to put a cherry on top of this, he went and got Superman. Well, you know what Action Man's gotta say. Gotta say, get your butts in those theaters and you go check out this action flick. Action Man out. Hi guys, Comic Book Guy here back again for another preview of another great comic book movie coming to the theaters. That's right folks, Teen Guidance Go to the Theaters. That, that's right, the title is the same as what I want you to go to the theaters, you know, just go to the theaters. All right. I know it's not the Teen Titans you might want that's a little older and maybe a little cooler, but it's all right. We still got the Teen Titans. Plus, I think you get a sp- cool special guest. I think you get some Batman, a little bit of Superman. I've seen some like, Green Lantern, some Wonder Woman. All of them are coming to the theaters. They all want to go check out this movie. So why don't you grab the kitties and check yourself out and go check out Teen Guns Go, you know, the animated version. You know, it'll be cool. You'll have a good time. And I want to dedicate this to uh, the King of the Sweaties. Mr. John Snap, you rest in peace. Bye, guys. <laughs>